Hello everybody, Grace still plays, and today I wanted to take a look at five more planets that we've seen so far in No Man's Sky. Now, I'd like to mention that there are planets that I'll be missing, and that's somewhat intentional. There were planets that weren't seen elsewhere in some footage of No Man's Sky, which was published and then removed, and I didn't really feel it was my place to come along and put the footage up if the developers weren't satisfied enough to have it officially published themselves. That said, there are still various beautiful planets to be seen. Understand, and someone pointed it out in a comment in the last video, these planets may not exist in the game when it's released, as the generation might be redone just for us. Even if these planets don't exist, it's still pretty neat to look back at what the developer has shown us and compare it to what we'll see when we blast off looking for our own adventures. I'll also mention that we'll be taking a break from the planets to talk about a different topic tomorrow, but I do believe I want to keep the planetary series running. Very briefly, last episode I asked you which of the planets out of the five shown were your favorite, and if none of them, what type of planet would you most like to explore? And here were some of the responses. Astral Dimensions favored a planet not yet on the list, Aurea 5. Blaine Patterson was torn between a stormy water world, a binary sun planet like Tatooine, or a lush planet with hills, valleys, and waterfalls. Malaf Emil Andresen loved the planet cloaked in darkness at the end, which was Sayal by the way. Our resident Skyrim Assassin's Guild members, Smoke Papers, Backdoor Thieves, thought a planet like Hoth, or a planet with volcanoes, would be interesting. And finally, Wampa was interested in the Arctic world Bellari 5, which despite being colder than any place on our Earth, still manages to sustain life. As always, folks, thanks for the responses. A favorite part of my day is getting to chat with all of you about No Man's Sky and really video gaming in general. So with that, let's get right into the next five planets. Number one, Habik Ogan. Almost Dr. Seuss-like in its color scheme, bright red grass follows the hilly landscape along with short mushroom-like plants, Red rectangular crystals grow out of the ground to impressive heights, but the most interesting objects are the huge egg-shaped rock formations that are apparently filled with resources. Number 2, HX3, a dusty, seemingly barren planet with massively sharp jutting crystalline structures in the background. Not completely devoid of plant life as we can see from some very minor grass-like foliage, a herd of what look to be stegosauri-like creatures rumble past while a massive moon or planet sits in the background. Number 3, Ictlac. Somewhat similar to Goragal, this is another mostly barren, sandy planet with sparse green tree-like vegetation. The landscape seems filled with valleys, crags, and stone-like bridges that connect various outcroppings of rock together. Number 4, Ilium Chame. A beautiful blue sky is filled with puffy white clouds that are very reminiscent to our home of Earth. The grass is crisp and green, and apparently there are at the very least cave systems as we can see here, where green, angular crystals grow. Along with the interesting rock formations, there appear to be enormous mountains looming in the background, and if that wasn't cool enough, flocks of draconic looking creatures fly overhead. Number 5, Ilyses. Ilyses looks dusty and barren at first sight. The pale landscape is contrasted by that glorious cloudless blue sky. But if we look harder, we can see patches of green vegetation growing. The landscape is also ripe with sharp, dangerous looking rock formations. Anyway folks, I hope that you've enjoyed at least a few more planets that we've seen so far in the footage released for No Man's Sky. It's easy to see just how infinite these worlds can really get. And though some of them share some similarities, it's awesome to see that they all have their own personality. Many times, simply pausing the footage feels like looking at a sci-fi painting, and that's an excellent look to be going for. I asked you last time about what your favorite planet would be, but now let me ask you, what would be your least favorite planet out of this bunch and why? And if you love them all, can you think of a planet style or biome type that you would just be turned off by? Feel free to leave your input in the comments section below, and as always, stay foxy, and much love.